How we doing today, YouTube? Deesky from Deesky Grills back with another cooking video, and it is turkey time. I am so excited, YouTube. I can't wait to show you my awesome hickory smoked turkey recipe made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. Now, this is a three-part deal, okay? So we're starting off first with the brining process. This is very important. So for the brining process, let me show you what we're gonna be using. We'll do that tonight. Then this baby will go into the cooler and it'll go in there for 24 hours, soaked in this beautiful solution, okay? Now this solution is a few ingredients. On the stove, I have 64 ounces of apple juice in this pot with one cup of kosher salt and one cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna put this back real quick. Also folks, we're gonna cut up four oranges, so we'll have, we'll quarter four oranges, so we'll have 16 slices. These big, large navel oranges, they're gonna go into brine. We will also cut up three stalks of celery. That will go into brine. Okay, that is everything that's gonna go in our brine. And then inside of our beautiful turkey, we're gonna stuff it with fresh rosemary, fresh basil, and fresh oregano. So that is our brine solution, folks. That will happen, and then the next day, we will come and I'll show you the next process. But I want to get this filmed real quick and then I'll see you guys in the morning for the next step. As always, thanks for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay, we're back. I thought we can get up close and personal with this beautiful 20 pound butterball turkey. Man, I'm so excited about smoking this baby on Thanksgiving morning. So here this baby is, I'm gonna move it to the side. What we're gonna do folks, is we're gonna start with our celery. So again, I'm going to cut three stalks of celery. So we can get that working right now. Okay, and then all we're gonna do from here, we have our three stalks. We're just gonna cut them in chunks real quick. Two and three. Now I'm gonna drop these behind me in the brine. Then I'll show you the brine in just a second. So these are done. To the brine they go. All right, and then also, as I told you, we're gonna cut up some navel oranges. I'm telling you, we have 64 ounces of apple juice. Now we're gonna hit it with these beautiful oranges and it adds such an awesome flavor to these turkeys. You guys just wouldn't believe it. Two, three, and four. All right, all we're doing with this is very easy. We are just gonna quarter those babies. So let's go right down the middle here and we'll do this done, okay? We're gonna do that for all of these. Let's go down the middle and this way, done. Okay, I'll get these added right now. So you add these beautiful citrus notes and then you come back with savory type of herbs, all right? So you're going with a savory, a sweet, a citrus, this basil, rosemary, like I said, and oregano. It's gonna be awesome, folks. All right, let's finish the last two oranges. Turn it this way and go down the middle. And the last one. Okay, in the pot we go with these. Okay, YouTube, so here's our brine. So apple juice, orange slices, celery, one cup of kosher salt, and one cup of brown sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this back on the stove, let it go ahead and boil down. Then we're gonna let it cool, and I'll show you the next step. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back. So we have this beautiful 20 pound bird sitting here on this cutting board. I've already rinsed it and cleaned it. Now what we're gonna do, folks, is we're gonna go ahead and stuff it with our fresh herbs. So we're gonna start with our basil. We'll get that opened up. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. So we're going straight with basil inside the cavity. I'll turn it this way. We're gonna do the same thing with our oregano. We're gonna build up all these beautiful savory and earthy type flavors in this turkey. And this is all a part of it, you know? This is how you put the citrus notes from your brine along with your earthy and piney type flavors from your herbs. And again, this is all stage one. Now here's our beautiful rosemary, okay? So we have all of that stuffed into the cavity, you can see. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our brine, which is actually done. So I will bring that over and show you that. Okay, so here's our brine, which is already boiled down. This thing is ready to go off into this large Ziploc bag, so we'll do that right now. Okay, so I have an extra large Ziploc bag, and what I'll do is I'll show you the bags that I'm talking about. 
these bags are what you use to store all sorts of things. I mean, they're huge. You can put laundry stuff. As you can see, they use these bags to keep all their sporting equipment. So this is a very, very big bag. These are the ones I use every year for the brining method. All right, so we have our bag. It is opened up. We're gonna bring this beautiful turkey over. And we're just gonna seat it right inside of here. There she goes. All right, folks, and from there, we're just coming in with our brine. And I think I need help from my wife. Pour fast. Perfect, pour. Let's get it all in there. Just pour. All right. Perfect. That's a big thing. Okay, so here our brine is. It's all added. So here's what we're gonna do. We, all we're doing now is we're gonna get this baby wrapped up and we're gonna put it in a nice knot. My wife did this for me last year. But you can see the thing is, you wanna get the air out. You want your turkey to be submerged. So let's get this baby turned around a little bit. Okay, so this is it folks. I'll meet you guys at the cooler and we're gonna get these babies dropped in the cooler. Okay, folks, so now into the cooler we go. And all we're gonna do now is come back with our ice. So this is our step. We'll get our ice added real quick. This is the process for the next 24 hours, folks. So we'll leave it just like that. And then tomorrow, we'll be back at the cutting board, we'll do the spatchcock process, and then we'll let this baby dry out. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, we are back, YouTube. This is day two of our awesome hickory smoked turkey made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. So this is the end of our brining process. I'm gonna go ahead now and remove the turkey. Then what we're gonna do is spatchcock it and then put it in the refrigerator for another 24 hours so the skin can dry out. So let's get this baby opened up and get it spatchcocked. Okay, so I've drained the solution, and then what, I, what we have now is just one infused bird. This thing is full of so much flavor right now. Now, what I didn't do is take all of our dry herbs out of the cavity, so we can do that together real quick before we start spatchcocking. So here is all of our herbs that we stuck inside of this baby. These things did their job as well. So we internally have a nice, earthy, citrusy type flavor already built into our turkey and now we're going to go ahead and start this spatchcocking so we'll get this discarded and then spatchcock the turkey okay so i know you've seen this done many times and definitely if you've watched my channel uh, we've done it quite a few times on uh, chickens so no difference exact same way we want to go along the side of the spine on this side then we'll turn it over and do it on that side the only difference is the bones are a lot thicker on turkey, so you really have to have a good sharp knife to get this done right. Okay, so that's one side. We have this baby opened. We're gonna turn it over. Still got some more stuff on the inside. We'll take care of that in a minute. So lots of nice herbs inside. All right, let's get the other side taken off. So we'll start here by the tailbone and do the exact same thing. Okay, so we have that done. Let's take that off. All right, folks, so here is our backbone removed. We can discard that. We don't need it anymore. Okay, now that we've actually gotten everything prepped, we're gonna go ahead now, turn her over, and crack the spine. So we want this bird to lay flat, so let's flip it over. And what makes this awesome with spatchcocking is that you get a chance to push down, crack the spine so it can cook evenly. So we'll do that right now. So listen for the crack. We'll do it on three. One, two, three. Okay. That is actually laying this bird out so it cooks flat. 
And there she goes. 20 pounds of magnificent turkey being prepped on Deeski grills. This is absolutely phenomenal. So what I'm gonna do now, folks, is dry this up from the brine. I want this as dry as possible, and then we'll go ahead and put it on a cooking sheet. So we'll do that right now. Then this baby will be done for today. Let all the skin dry out. Next day, we'll start the seasoning, and the most important part, the awesome cook. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, we're done. I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, this is day three of our hickory smoked turkey made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. So folks, I hope you can notice how the skin is now dried out. So all the moisture has been taken out just by letting the refrigerator do its job and air dry everything out of this turkey, okay? So again, the reason for doing this is so we can have a crispy crust as we smoke this turkey, it comes out nice and crispy while it's done awesome on the inside. So I'm gonna take this off of the cooking sheet and we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning. So I'll do that and I'll get back with you guys in just a second. Okay folks, so we removed the turkey from the cooking sheet. Now it's time to get this baby seasoned up, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use regular cooking spray as a binder for our spices. So let's start off first by spraying this baby down. Now we'll also be using this cooking spray throughout the smoking process to make sure we keep a beautiful brown crust during that smoking process. Now, the spices we'll be using today is the complete seasoning. Now this seasoning has everything from onion to oregano, just all the spices that you wanna use actually for Thanksgiving, okay? So we're gonna go heavy with this I want a nice coat of this on this bird. Okay. Now I want to do the same thing with one of my favorite seasonings that I've shared with you throughout the year, and it's the It's Incredible. I want to go an equal part of It's Incredible. Now these dry seasonings are gonna help with the crusting process also during the cook. They're gonna give that skin a awesome flavor as well as this side of the, the bird as well. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I'm trying to be a little quiet. My family's still sleeping. Okay, folks, so that is that side. But what I'm gonna do also, we're gonna do it all in one shot. We're also going to inject Cajun butter into this beautiful bird. So let's do that as well. Now, what I do is I always transfer into another container. I don't want any cross contamination, okay? So this will be what we're injecting today. And I do have my plunger, my injector tool. Now, all I wanna do, folks, is I wanna catch parts of this bird and just fill it up. So we're starting with the legs first. And this is easy to do. Now we're going in up under the bottom here. Now this is more of your breast. Let's get that shot up. Now we'll really be able to inject this thing good on the other side. So we'll spend a lot of time doing it then. But I want to catch some of these spots while we're on this side. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side. We're gonna flip this baby over, so let's do that right now. 20 pounds of goodness here. On the side we go. Okay, so we'll hit the leg and we will hit the uh, thighs as well. And in the meantime, I'll take you guys outside and show you the grill setup for today. See you guys in a bit. 
Okay, folks, we are outside at the Gateway Drum Smoker. It is uh, about 7 o'clock now, so we have kind of a nasty day. It's a little rainy out, um, about 48, uh, maybe 45 to 48 degrees at this current time. But, hey, it is turkey day, so let's check out this grill setup. Really looking forward to putting this magnificent bird on the Gateway Drum Smoker. So, look inside, folks. Here's what we got going on. We have uh, lump charcoal. That is what's down there now. So we have lump charcoal and one wax cube, all right? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fire this baby up. And once it ashes over, we'll add hickory, okay? So we'll add chunks of hickory to this beautiful cook. Then the bird will be going on. I'm also gonna use a diffuser plate that was an accessory um, that I added to the Gateway Drum Smoker just for cooks like this. So you'll get a chance to see that in action. I've cooked with it before. Uh, so I'll do all of that once we ash over. And then we'll come back and I'll let you guys see when we add this bird. Now we're shooting for about 350 degrees for this cook. And um, we'll use our um, guru, our barbecue guru as well, to make sure we know exactly when this bird is done so we can pull this baby out at the peak of perfection. So I'll see you guys once we ash over. And then uh, we'll get back together when it's time to add the bird. Okay, so we fired up the drum smoker. I'm gonna go ahead now and get some hickory chunks added real quick. I wanna put those on the outskirts, but not too far away, because I wanna make sure it gets uh, a good smoke flavor on this turkey. Give us another one maybe over here, and maybe over here. Okay, now the reason I'm adding this now is I wanna go ahead and get our diffuser plate added. Um, as well. So let's go ahead and get the diffuser plate in place. Now that's going to keep the direct heat off of the bird and keep it from burning and, and getting scorched. So that's the reason we added that baby. All right, folks, I'll see you guys when we ash over and then it'll be time to add this beautiful bird. This baby is huge, folks. Look at this thing. It's gonna barely fit on here. All right, I'm gonna slide her on. Okay. And there she is. This is Thanksgiving 2019. Look at that, folks. Beautiful, 20 pound bird on the Gateway Drum Smoker. I'll see you guys in a bit once we get it dialed in. We're gonna go ahead and get our probes and everything in so we don't have to do anything. It'll just be carefree cooking, but we don't need to do that at this point. Catch you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back. We are about 45 minutes in. You can see that beautiful smoke billowing out of the Gateway Drum Smoker. What I wanna show you also is where we're at so far, folks. So we are holding at 321 degrees. Our inter internal temperature of this bird right now is 83 degrees. We're gonna open it up for the first time. What I wanna do is spray cooking spray on the turkey to continue to protect the color of the crust and to help with the crisp process. So let's do that right now. You can see she is browning up nicely. Look at this bird, folks. Absolutely amazing. I'm so excited about this cook. We have people coming over at three o'clock. Right now it's about 8.30, so plenty of time to get this done. Um, what I wanna do also is give it a chance to rest. So this is why I got started so early. But you can see she is browning up nicely. I'm gonna get the lid closed back up, let it continue to do its magic. And I'll check back with you guys again. Um, maybe one more hour in so again we are shooting for 165 in the breast we already have it probed but we'll let the color also dictate what we do but you can see this baby is looking phenomenal i'll check back with you guys in a bit okay folks we are back let's check out how we're looking right now we are at 126 internally 334 degrees is the cook temp inside this beautiful gateway drum smoker. So I'm gonna back it up real quick. We're gonna open it up. Now what we are is two hours into this cook, so it is coming along well. We still have nice smoke billowing out of the gateway drum smoker. I wanna open it up, spray it again with cooking spray to keep on working on keeping it brown and crisping up that crust. So let's do that real quick. Now I turned it 90 degrees. Uh, during the uh, time it was cooking. So I didn't show you that, but I just turned the grill gray just to make sure it continues to cook evenly. So this thing looks absolutely phenomenal. Look at it. We're starting to get pulled back on the bones. It smells just great. All 
all right? So this is all I want to do. I want to get it shut right back down. And then I'll get back with you guys in another hour. Okay, we are back YouTube. As you can see, our cook temp is 341 degrees. Our food is toggling between 166 and 167 in the breast. It is time to pull this beautiful hickory smoked turkey out made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. I'm gonna open it up, let you guys see it, and then I will meet you guys a little bit later. We're gonna let this baby rest, but I want you to see how beautiful it is. Look at the color. Look how we maintained a beautiful, beautiful crispy brown crust. This thing looks absolutely amazing, folks. I'm gonna go ahead now, again, let it cool, and it's gonna sit here until it's time to carve it up for Thanksgiving, which will be about three hours away. But I wanna thank you as always for joining me. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. You guys have an awesome Thanksgiving. Thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy your family and friends, and let's get back together uh, for more awesome videos in the future. Thanks so much, catch you later.